Hello, Bumpy Mix Squiggums here, and I'm continuing with my Let's Play of the original Risen game. This is Risen 1, Episode 19, and I have absolutely no idea what's happening. I don't recall anything anymore. I am totally clueless. Um, we could leave the town already if we really, really chose to. Uh, there's several other things that we could do as well. We have a decent supply of money. Money is not necessarily a bad thing. Um... Yeah, there's a lot I'm of stuff sure that can happen. sure you've got things to do. But, right now, what I think I'm going to do is... I haven't done a whole heck of a lot. I think Jack, uh... The lighthouse keeper himself. Yeah, there wasn't really much I wanted from him or wanted to do with him. I already sold... Sold? I already stole some stuff from him. Sold it into slavery. No, it was no slavery. It was only stealing. That's what I do. I'm a thief. I can't help it. Can't help it. It's true. All right, so yeah, let's talk to this guy. What's up, so Edgar? There are still new folks turning up here, eh? Well, watch yourself around the Inquisition. What Thank do you. you mean? I mean, careful where you step, or you'll be up to your eyes in shit before you know that it. That does sound messy and They're very unpleasant. Touch, you know. Worshiping a flame. Okay. What should I know about Harbor Town? No, eh? Just watch your step. You never know who's throwing their weight about from one day to the next. And mind that harbor warehouse. Oh, I minded it. Go near it. it, and people think you're stealing from there. Yeah. Let's just say it makes the Inquisition twitchy. Let's just what say I did mean, steal from twitchy. it. Legal system here is simple but effective. Steal something, we beat the crap out of you. That is pretty Hurt effective. our citizens, kill our animals, we beat the crap out of you. And if you kill someone... You beat the crap out of me? No. Exactly. And then we kill you. I like it. Anything else I should know? Anything else I should know? There's still plenty of trouble you can cause folks without us making with the beatings. Of course, people probably won't talk to you after. So how do I avoid the silent treatment? Don't cause trouble in the first place. What if trouble just happens? <laughs> then that sort of happens to be your problem. Wow, this guy's clever. There must be a way to soothe trouble over. Hmm. Apparently the mages know a spell. A joke spell. A jest spell. Seriously? Yeah. It's ironic. It's supposed to make a person feel Seriously. like they've just been told the best joke in the world. And how does that help? And they forget whatever was troubling them. Where can I get this spell? A mage, maybe. Plenty in the monastery. Bunch of backstabbing <laughs> betrayers, the lot of them. Allying with the Inquisition. Could be one knocking around town somewhere. And who are you? Who are you? I'm Edgar, head of the town guard. Or at least I was. Until the Inquisition took over and pushed Esteban out. I wasn't his biggest supporter, I admit. But at least he was local. Indubitably. You must be a trained fighter. You must be a trained fighter. I swear by the sword and the crossbow. Sword for when they're close. And crossbow if they try and run. That's fair. Can you train me. Train you? Sure, it'll give me something to do. But I can't be letting you have my skills for free. Well, that's fine. Um, why don't you train the recruits? Why don't you eh? train the recruits? Eh? Let's say that me and the Inquisition don't see eye to eye on the law. I see it as flexible. Fair enough. Why arrest every piddly little criminal? But the Inquisition don't turn a blind eye to anything. They turn a brown so they eye. one of my former yeah. guards, Eric, to oversee the recruits. He's a master and treats them decent, too. Although he seems a little preoccupied lately. Alright. Well, thank you, Edgar. You are a gentleman and a scoundrel. Alright, the warrior of the order. We really didn't do much of anything in this general region, so I suppose we could talk to a few different people. What's up, Weasel? No. I'm not giving you anything. Do I look like I want something? Everyone wants something. Money, usually. You're one of the Dom's men. men. Nothing gets past you, does it? Oh, nope, nothing. So, what's going on here? Not much. Can't do anything while those scum sucking white robe bastards won't let me out of their sight. Why are the white robes watching you? Well, because they know I hate them. And they think I'm a thief. And are you? Of course not. I even used to offer protection to the merchants. And get paid for it. That's how business works. Fair enough. And now, now, 
Carlos is just waiting for me to give him a reason to banish me from the town. But I won't give him the chance. But I won't give him the chance. I could help you. How? Let me join you. I'll work for you. Why? Why should I even trust you? This town's full of spies and collaborators. Because you'll find they'd gut me if I fail. I've already worked for Delgado. Eh? I've already eh? worked for Delgado, collecting protection money. Protection money? So you already have some experience. I could work for you. This here is the Fat Cat's quarter. Ooh. You don't just go from door to door collecting protection money. Those white robe bastards are everywhere, and they see everything. So how does it work here? Before I show you the tricks, you'll have to do something else. For hey, me. man, I don't swing that way. What is it you want me to do? Don Esteban controls most of the Bruegel on the island. Ooh, Bruegel. Leonardo, the alchemist, he processes the harvest. Then Garth, the alchemist's assistant, brings it to us. But recently, some of the goods have gone missing. So, somebody's taking it. Dun, dun, dun. Do you suspect anyone? Garth. I think Garth's behind it. Why don't you punish him? I can't risk those infernal white robes finding out. And even though Garth is a coward, I don't know if a beating will make him talk. I don't know if a beating will make him talk. How does the Bruegelweed get into the town? You don't need to know that. What if the goods are disappearing on their way in? No. When Leonardo gets the goods, they're complete. Okay, and... What do you want me to investigate? Garth is too stupid to do this on his own. <laughs> Somebody's paying him. You follow Garth when he delivers the weed packages. And when he meets his partner, you grab both of them. You want me to do that alone? I'd gladly break their ratty bones with you, but the white robe pigs won't let me out of their sight. Fair enough. Alright, what do I get if I bring you the packages? What do I get if I bring you the packages? Money. It's always about money. Bring me what I want, and I'll show you how we separate rich merchants from their property. Ooh. Is that all? We'd be prepared to trust you more as well. That guard, Marcelo, is determined to nail me. He mustn't get the packages. The pig botherer. The pig botherer. What if Marcelo what gets the package? If Marcelo got the packages. The stinking brute would hound me for all eternity. Everyone in the town knows we control the weed trade, and with the packages as evidence, Marcelo would be on me like swamp fly. Not a pretty thought. Not That's why all. you have to find the packages and give them to me. All right, I'll follow Garth. Let's see if I remember how to do I'll this game. Garth. It's been like Good. a week or two. Garth works across from here in the alchemist's house. Stand next to me or behind me so he doesn't notice you right away. He's a nervous soul. All right. Well, I'm ready to follow I'm ready Garth. To follow Garth. Garth's leaving. Give him a bit of a head start, then follow him. Keep your distance, but don't let him out of your sight. If anything goes wrong, come back. Got it? Indubitably. What's going on, Gareth? What are you doing, buddy? Huh? Anyhow. Sneaking around, nope. are you? Nope, I'm not sneaking. There we go, that's that's the walk button. I was like, wait a minute. Anyhow, um, yeah, it's been it's been a busy couple of weeks, so it's understandable that I, um, well, been having a few issues at uh, getting time to play. So, yeah, and I'm also saying uh, a lot. Uh, 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 I'm done. Playing. Anyhow, yeah, a few things left to do in Harbor Town. I mean, we could come back at this point and probably do them later if we really had to, and I could get back out in the world. I'm pretty sure of that. And all I really need to do at this point, I believe, is go to Madame Sonia's and get to the back room, and then, yeah, there's other various things I can do. I vaguely remember this from my earlier times. Now, if I recall, she's a minor inconvenience at this point, so we want to avoid her. She wants to gab to us. And well, we just simply don't want to talk. We're not really in a talking mood. Every other other every other time that we want to talk to her, she's like, Ah, we have him and him and her. Well, I don't want to him and him and her. I just want to talk. And now she's like, Oh, hey, you want to talk? Yeah, no, I'm busy. I'm following some dude. That's what I do. I follow people. Oh, this is dangerous, man. 
That's just ri risky right there. You fall right on your head. Sorry, guys. It's late. I'm meh. Meh. I say unto thee, meh. That's pretty much it. That's the size of everything. I am meh. Hear me roar. I am meh. Hear me roar. Do, 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 do. This is super fun following this guy at breakneck speeds here. Dun, 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 Hey, what's going on, Master Belshore? Okay. So I followed him here. What do I do now? I don't talk to him, are we? Yeah, it's just to go nab them both, right? Aha! Oh crap! What do you want? Did Did you follow me? It did, really wasn't. Did hard. you follow me? Hey, you! Yeah, you! Yeah, I seen you about nosing in everyone's business. Yeah, people that's what don't I do. like people's noses being stuck into other people's business. I don't know. People like that gets hit by people. Do they? Hand over the packages you took. Sure you want to do this? Absolutely. Yeah, I do. Then you leave me no choice. Garth, get him! What? Shut his flapping mouth. Time for a little lesson. Ah! Oh, I made a terrible mistake. Come on, you Alright. Take that the war shield. Fight. Steal everything from Garth. We'll take his stuff. We'll take the sword. What else we got? The other sword. What's up, boys? Hold on, Garth. Come back here. Come back here, Garth. Garth. Okay. Right. Now let's hear the truth. It's Cutter's fault. He made me do it. He did, he did. He wanted me to set aside some weed for him. Just a bit. What did he give uh -huh. you for? Me. And some gold. But it wasn't much. And I haven't any left. Please don't tell Carlos. I couldn't hack it in the monastery. I'm not cut out for it. I have allergies. <laughs> Just get out of here. Thanks. Oh, I have allergies. <laughs> Hey, Cutter! We're not done yet, buddy. I stole your stuff, but I'm not done. I want to improve my fighting skills. What can you teach me about combat? Has your brain fallen out? It has. After the crap you put me through, forget it. Well. Now start talking. Look, I didn't mean to step on the Don's toes. Oh, really? You stole his weed. That's pretty much stomping on them. I... I wasn't going to sell it in Harbour Town. Then where? Just, uh, just in the monastery. They all love a bit of Bruegel up there. Yeah. You should remember it's the Don's Bruegel. They're rich up there. Loads of gold. It's all that poking around in the ruins. So I've heard. Who else is involved in this Bruegel smuggling? Just me. And I'm supposed to believe that? Believe what you like. I always do. You want to go again, Cutter? I mean, I'm, I'm more than willing to beat your face in a few more times. You were pretty rude to me, and I don't really take kindly to rude people. I'm just saying. If you're going to be rude, well, you better be able to back it up, buddy. And you, Haven't good you sir, better to do? did not back Oi, it up. What's your game? I will knock your face off. Shut it. Ooh, wait, there's an herb. One day I'll actually know what to do with these things. But for now, I don't. <laughs> Curse these doorways. They are a tricky lot. Alright, there's some stuff in there and I'm gonna take it all. Cause that's what I do. I am the greatest thief to ever walk the face of the planet. That's not true, but I will steal all this dude's stuff simply because I don't like him. And we'll take all that and I think that pretty much does it for uh, this. Uh, ooh, wait, he's got something up here. Ooh, a wolf skin. Gimme. 
All right, is that just about it? I think so. I think that's it. The dude's uh, now a little bit more poor for his uh, his effort. Sorry, buddy. Simply is what it is. There's a door up here. This lock is too difficult. Oh, apparently we're terrible at lock picking. Well, whatever. We did our job. We did it well. And our boy's gonna like us and be like, Oh my gosh, you figured this out. You're a hero. Did we get the packages or not? I feel like we found out who did it, but we didn't actually get any of the packages. Now, Lily should be back in her normal spot. Nope, she's still standing there. Hmm. What's up, Lily? I wish I had the spare time you seem to have. I wish I had my foot up your... Never mind. What? Up on her ottoman, relaxing, leaning back, getting a kind of a foot massage, and maybe a, pet a ma mani petty. Huh? That's a thing, right? I, I don't know. Pretty safe to say I've never been to a day, night, or any kind of spa, for that matter. Except maybe in when I was working at some point. I probably had to do some cabling there or something. Garth's working with Cutter. Cutter? He lets us pay him so we can work in peace and then he steals from us. That bastard would suck bog bodies if he thought there was money in it. That's disturbing. What about the packages? Did he have them on him? We need those packages. So I've heard. Here you go. Here are the packages you wanted. Good work. Boom. A lot of gold is coming your way. Yeah, it is. That's a lot of gold, a hundred. Come on, then. Tell me how to fleece the merchants. Right. There are two worthwhile targets. There's Conrad, the goods merchant. He buys from the farmers and sells at a big profit. And there's Alvaro, the weapons dealer. Hmm. Since the only smith in the town works for him, he dictates the price of weapons. Interesting. How do I collect from the two merchants? First, get an overview. Talk to them. Perhaps even buy something. You have to find out what's keeping them busy, what problems they have, and what weaknesses. We know their weaknesses. We can use that against them. Well, that doesn't really help me all that much. What's up, Garth? Haven't I seen you hanging around the brothel? What? what me? No, no, not me. You wouldn't catch me there. I mean, real men don't pay for it, do they? They, well, you know, um, it, it wasn't me you saw. Yeah, you're right. And you are a real man. Yeah, he is. What is this? Oh. Hmm, nobody seems to notice I'm over here. Better start again. It broke. Oh no. Alright, right, left, right, left, left, right. Job well done. Ah, <laughs> uh, left, that left, no. Nope. Right, right. That wasn't it. Right, left, left, Better right. Start again. Ah. Right, left. Ah! Damn. Come on, right, left, right, left. Did it. I'm too fast for the game to register. What is that? Those are bolts. I will take them all because I can. Because I have an infinite inventory space. Ooh, there's a box of oh, some dude watching me through the window. Gotta start again. Did it. Yeah, I'm a hero. Ooh, look at that. Some sort of weird thing. Okay, so we have made it into the back room back here behind that guy. So let's see, right, left, right, start nope. again. Right, left, left, right, right, nope. Damn. Right, left, left. Left. Oh, no. No. Right, left, left, right, left, right. Yes. Aha! Creepy. Ooh, there's a switch. I don't remember ever doing this before. <gasps> Ooh, it opened another storeroom. I like this. It pays to be a thief. Sort of. Well, we're getting a little bit more cash, a little bit more money. I'll have to pick this, or find the key. Oh, I guess that means that I don't have any more lockpicks, because I broke them all. I have a lot of keys, though. Look at all these keys I have. Holy crap. 
All right, so apparently we are. Oh. I'll have to pick this. I'll have to pick this, or find the key. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so we gotta buy some more lockpicks. That's apparently a thing that we must do now, which is okay. We don't mind, you know. It happens. And I'm sure we'll be able to find some inside of this shop, which I guess is the armor shop. Doorways are tough. All right, so there we go. Do you sell potions? Nope, this is the alchemist. I do indeed. What's up, Leonardo? Quality product, quality potions. Everybody buys from Leonardo. Everybody. Except for those tight wads who go to bed with every little injury. Their pain is not my gain. Yep. Yeah. Um, hmm. Garth stole some of the Don's goods. What? Garth? I warned him about tangling with the Don. Mm. I assume you've taken care of things. Yeah. Here, take a healing potion. A thanks for smoothing this over. I'm a hero. Alright, don't really want to talk to you right now. I have other things on my mind, just saying. Alright. Ooh. Hopefully that doesn't get me murdered, like most things just seem to want to do. You're a... Uh, okay. So this is the armor guy, huh? Hey, what's up, Alvaro? I'll take a wild guess. You want a weapon? Surprise! I have a couple for sale, if you tell me what you're after. Uh, show me what you have. Show me what you have. Alright, I have a... What am I using? I'm using a light battle axe, right? Yeah. And he's got a light battle axe. That doesn't really help me, buddy. Doesn't really help me at all. Alright, we got a new shield. Ooh, a war shield. That's actually pretty sexy. That we beat up and stole from a guy. Well, we, we didn't beat it up. We just stole it from a guy. Alright, sledgehammer is an axe as well. Not as good as what I'm using. Don't need these. Do you really want to... No. Okay, and I... Mm, mm. Whatever. We'll just roll out with what we have right now. We'll trade the items. It doesn't really have much for me. There's nothing in it for me, so... I don't really want to talk to you right now. I have other things I would like to take care of first. So let's see. Is this the, uh... Ooh, a woman. If you want it, Hello, I've Conrad. Got it. If you're here to buy, welcome. If you're here just to look or to beg, get out. I'm trying to run a business. Uh, show me your goods. Show me your goods. You don't have any lockpicks either. Really, dude? Really? Oh, I have a bunch. So, hold on. So what was the problem at the door at the bottom of the... Hmm. Sometimes I wonder... Sometimes I wonder. Well, I gotta say, this place is a little... Hmm. This is a good reason I didn't do any of this stuff before. It's very confusing in this area. Alright, we got some... Wild boar skin, some arrows. Excellent. Rum, and another arrow, and... I guess a short bow. Alright, so we got all that stuff. And we'll take it. We will take various objects sitting around on the ground doing nothing any day of the week. Apparently jumping in this place is not the best of ideas. There certainly seems to be a lot of guards up here. As long as no one pays me, I don't have to move. Huh. Well, that's... Well, I guess that's good to know. Oop. I'll just slowly fall down here. You not got better things to do? Do you? Do you have better things to do? Because I actually don't believe you do. Marcelo... Tony, what's up, hey, buddy? how are you? Hush. Don't make such a noise, or we'll both get arrested. What's going What's on? What's going on here? Hush, not so loud. The white robe back there is starting to notice. 
Hernandez realizes I'm watching the Don's old house. We're screwed. Huh. Sounds like you're no fan of the Inquisition. Like you're no fan of the Inquisition. Yeah, and that bastard Hernandez has settled over there by the entrance and made himself comfortable. Looks like he's happy to spend the rest of his life guarding it, damn it. And I sit out here like an idiot. Rain or shine. So? You're working for the Don. You've just realized. Yeah, I have orders from the Don. And when he gives orders, you obey. Thing is, I could use some help. Okay. Now what do you what need? What is it you need to do? There's an old family heirloom of the Don's in the house. A golden amulet. If the white robes get their hands on it, they'll take it to their stupid monastery. And the Don will kill me. And I mean kill me, wake me up, and kill me again. Okay. You want to steal from the white robes? Steal? They came storming into Harbour Town, taking anything they want. The house and everything in it belong to Don Esteban. I'm just going to return what already belongs to him. That's fair. That's fair. How do I know it's an amulet? Where Did he say that? Amulet? I he said, uh... Don mentioned a secret room accessed by a huh. hidden switch behind a picture. But how is anyone supposed to find the room in that huge house while the white robes are buzzing around? Magic. Tell me about the Don's old house. It's that big building over there. But the white robes are in there, and they never leave. If you want to break in, you'll have to do it at night. Some of them will be asleep. Then. Ooh, bonus. Right. I'll get you the amulet. Okay, but be smart. Esteban will kill us both if Hernandez gets his hands on it. Nope, he'll kill you, not me. Wow, you just pulled a bread out of your arm a big giant loaf of bread out of your armpit. That's impressive. That is mildly impressive. Stop. Not one step further. Or what? I hold your whole I've heard you're holding a treasure seeker, seeker prisoner. prisoner. That's right. And he's staying here. Unless the bastard talks, of course. About this treasure seeker. What is he accused of? He isn't a treasure seeker. He's a treasure stealer. Ooh. And he's gonna stay locked up until what he nicked turns up. Until Carrasco has three artifacts, three golden bowls in his hands, then this thief isn't going anywhere. Isn't there a way huh. you can forget all this and let him go? Are you trying to bribe me? Until Carrasco tells me differently, no one is going in there. And Ulf isn't setting foot outside until I know what's happened to these three bowls he got his hands on. Okay, well, we'll end the, the conversation there, and we'll probably end the episode here as well, guys. Uh, still a few, quite a few things to do. Oh, look, it's Elsa, isn't that... Interesting. Um, still quite a few things to do, but again, I think I might try to skip out on some of them. I don't know that I can necessarily do everything I'd like to do, but uh, I don't know. I'm kind of getting there, guys. I'm kind of slowly getting there. You know, I'm doing what I do and making things work. I vaguely remember there's something about a window you can jump into from back behind here. That's about the only thing I can really recall. And then you can sneak around. So there is a way into the Don's house from there. I don't remember how I figured that out before, but I did. Anyhow, guys, that's going to do it for this episode. In the next one, hopefully, I'll either decide whether or not there's anything else for me to do, or if... Well, if the answer is no, there isn't anything else for me to do, then perhaps I will try to get out of town and go out and do stuff amongst the world and amongst the people. Either way, until the next episode, guys, my name is Bumpy McSquiggums, and I will see you later.